that's the uh, bright line uh, they call it the, the most deadliest uh, uh, train in the US right now this is, uh, will take you to uh, Miami and uh, pretty soon it will take you you can uh, go all the way to Orlando from here by uh, bright line so right now we are in downtown West Palm Beach it's a beautiful day and on the right hand side right there that is the uh, municipal building all right that's the uh, parking garage and over here is a small courtyard and this is the uh, a public library I'm just gonna go in there I'm gonna go to the restroom look at that beautiful art, piece of art another one over here it's called on this photographic center Hi guys, uh, so well it's tax season so I have to go uh, see my accountant and I was gonna um, kind of show you around you know downtown uh, West Palm Beach but uh, when I you know came out of the parking garage went to you know to the building where my accountant uh, was and uh, I found out the surprise 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 she's no longer there <laughs> I was waiting downstairs trying to ring the bell to you know to have them let me in and no one is answering so I said what's going on so I finally called the office and find out that they moved so it kind of uh, caught me off grab and my <laughs> blood pressure just went up you know uh why didn't you tell me that you moved and then they, they were saying that uh, you know it's on their you know like a letterhead you know so, so but i said you know i've been going there for 20 years uh, you know i don't pay attention to you know the the letterhead if the address changed or not i anyway that's so and then you know my accountant was telling me that uh you know usually they yeah uh, they tell you know they tell the peop uh, the, the client that uh, they have moved but uh, sometimes you know the receptionist maybe you know uh, got so busy and forgot you know to tell you know when you call in they forgot to tell you that they have moved anyway so that's the thing uh, yeah I've been going to the same accountant for 20 years uh, 20 some years you know when I like the certain things you know the service or the person I, I stick with them you know I don't don't like the change uh, that just me anyway uh, okay so what else I was uh, I was making I was uh, filming it I was making video and then realized it was not recording uh, I was just saying that uh, since I'm going to you know it, I'm filing um, getting myself uh, ready to file my taxes uh, my uh, my 401k was not doing great uh, thanks to Joe Biden <laughs> I um, my portfolio is down like 25% uh, you know since the new administration uh, so, but hopefully you know hopefully it will come back but I kind of uh, you know usually I'm not so worried because I know you know I've been to a hard time I've been to the worst crash and it always come back but this time it's a kind of different you know I hopefully I'm wrong uh, because uh, you know as you know we have spent so much money you know uh, trying to help Ukraine 
uh, we're talking about billions of dollars so I'm not an expert on you know finances so I don't know I I'm just hearing people were you know saying that uh, it's gonna be tough time ahead but uh, I'm trying to keep positive uh, anyway so now, now you know I uh, I can tell my daughter that uh, hey you know what we cannot uh, have a have a have an early retirement because uh, four or five four or five years ago I my daughter you know I have a smart daughter you know she uh, she she have a double major she uh, she have a major in finance and also in uh, engineering uh, she was like advising me say hey dad you know why don't you just take an early retirement sell out everything sell your house sell your car you know and then just enjoy life with mom and you know go to the Philippines and retire early <laughs> it's so easy for you know um, maybe it's so easy for her to say you know uh, since you know she's more like American more American than me uh, you know she's she was born here it's a different way of thinking and she's young um, my you know my my thing is that I'm always very because I've been to hard time uh, you know like my life you know I have been been to good time and then also hard time when I got almost like nothing so that experience always scares me it's always like I always feel like I'm gonna need money you know, uh, and every time I watch like uh, other uh, other blogger or expat, you know, they were talking about, uh, you know what, you know, life is short, you know, try to enjoy it while you can, you know, and then some of them are retiring very early, like in their fifties, and they were just probably living off their savings, and just the thought of living on your savings is kind of very frightening to me I don't know you know I couldn't I just couldn't do it you know I got to have my social security even with my social security uh, I was I'm still worried that uh, it may be it's not enough for me you know uh, even though I'm very uh, very disciplined I don't go like go crazy in spending you know uh, I live a simple life so yeah that's uh you know that's uh my you know my my uh my I, my daughter idea and my idea is not in sync you know uh, she's more like uh, uh she want me to, she want me to take an early retirement uh don't wait for my social security uh that's what she was saying to me but uh what what's your thought i mean my viewer what's your thought should you do that you know should you should you just uh you know enjoy life um uh, and you know sell off everything and live off your saving are you able to do that i mean it's just not me you know i i just i don't see myself doing that uh what's your opinion i like to hear from you what's your opinion on that one uh, now going back to my my account that I just found out that uh, she was pretty do, doing pretty great I I've been going there for 20 years I did not know that she owned the building <laughs> can you believe that I did not know that she owned the building she says she sold it and then she moved to another place amazing pretty amazing so she you know she did very well on that one I mean it's downtown West Palm Beach you know it was it was sold for like a 3.5 million uh, according to her so anyway uh, what else I think that's it I got a little bit headache right now you know I now you know sometimes I cannot take uh, like the pressure something like that you know uh, I don't like the that I'm always like a, always like on time person and then when I when I get there I was like uh, five minutes early 
and then all of a sudden find out that uh, she have moved now I'm I was late like uh, for you know I have to go get my car and then drive it it's not that far though where she moved uh, it's only about uh, seven minutes drive but I got there like 15 minutes like I don't like to be late but I already called them I said you know what I didn't know you move I'm here but uh, I'm gonna be like a 10 10 15 minutes late then you know because I have to get my car again and then drive it over there so I think my blood pressure just went up a little bit anyway so uh, uh, let me know your thought on this video thank you again for watching take care stay safe and God bless bye bye